the Universal Space Agency's Magnetic Launch Program hopes to one day use high-powered magnets to send spacecraft into Earth's orbit. Traditional rocket launchers give off pollution and can only be used once, while magnetic launchers would be environmentally clean and reusable. Magnetic launchers are years from being ready, but the team at the Universal Space Agency has constructed a model magnetic launcher to begin testing the idea at a small scale. This team has made an exciting step towards a technology that could lower the cost of space travel and make it more widely available. This video promoting our project was going to be released to the public today, but our latest round of tests was a disaster. Our small model needs to reach a launch speed of 100 meters per second, which if scaled up would be the perfect speed to enter Earth's orbit. But so far, we haven't gotten it to work. Could we get an extension? We did, but it's not long. LaToya, can we start with a report from the engineering team? Sure, Taylor. So during our first test on Monday, the model spacecraft only reached 80 meters per second. That's too slow. Right. And what about Tuesday's test launch? On Tuesday, we tried moving the magnets one centimeter closer together, which increased the launch speed to 90 meters per second, 10 meters per second faster. That was closer to our goal. But not fast enough. Correct. Finally, on Wednesday, we tried moving them another centimeter closer. And this is the strange part. We got 120 meters per second. So instead of increasing by 10 meters per second like we did on Tuesday, we increased by 30 meters per second? Exactly. We overshot our target speed of 100 meters per second, but we don't know why. OK, so we need to figure out why Wednesday's launch speed was 120 meters per second. The magnets were only one centimeter closer, but the speed jumped by 30 meters per second instead of just 10. Mateo, any thoughts from the physics team? Yes. I meant out loud. OK, I got it. So the issue is that by shortening the distance between the magnets for Wednesday's launch, we produced a bigger effect than expected. There are two possible explanations for this. One, something caused more energy to be added to the system than expected for Wednesday's launch. Or two, something caused the magnetic forces to become stronger than expected for Wednesday's launch. It's either one or the other. Actually, I think I see a third possibility. Isn't it possible that there was no change to the energy or magnetic force? Maybe we just didn't line the magnets up correctly the first two times, and then on Wednesday, we finally lined them up correctly and got the faster launch speed. That is possible. OK, good meeting. We now officially have three options to investigate. Drop everything else. I want this to be top priority. LaToya, Mateo, your teams work together on this and keep me informed as to your progress. OK, team. Let's make history.